Every year on this day, across the country, people and politicians quote Dr. King as if it were for an America of long ago, if we were dealing with problems that we've long since solved. But if Dr. King were here today, what would he say? He had a simple message, separate is not equal, inequality is not America. That even after slavery, after a civil war, after a visionary was shot down in a theater and hope died on the streets of Dallas, that the ugliness of separation still characterized this nation. If Dr. King stood here today, in this state, in this chamber, what would he see? He would see our neighborhoods and schools are still divided by race and class. Today, it's not enough to honor Dr. King with words. Today, we have to ask ourselves, are we willing to honor him with deeds? If Dr. King were here today, would he still be marching? 50 years ago, it was separate drinking fountains. Today, it's the achievement gap in our schools. And it's not as obvious, it's not as visible, but the damage to our children is just as real, and Dr. King would march. He would march for the little boys and girls that are going to school in Tacoma and South Seattle and Yakima, but they're not getting the same education as the little boys and girls that are going to school in Bellevue and Queen Anne. He would march for working class mothers and fathers who get fired for taking a day of sick leave and who can't get themselves out of poverty because they're getting paid the minimum wage. He would march because young men and women of color are still treated differently when they interview for a job or when they apply for a loan or when they're walking down the street or playing in a park. Today, Dr. King would march because separate is still not equal. Separate is wrong when it happens in our courtroom. Separate is wrong when it happens in our classroom. And Dr. King would march. And if we had the courage, we would march with him. Thank you, Madam Speaker.